Don't make the same mistake I did when I tried to use color roofs to grow out my gray hair. A lot of people think that color removers are the way to go when trying to go gray, but here's why they're not. You use color oops when you want to remove hair dye with the intention of dyeing your hair again, not for going gray. Color removers do remove artificial hair dye from your hair, but remember what happens to your hair to get that color in there in the first place. Hair dyes have to roughen up and lift the cuticle of your hair in order for that dye molecule to have a place to go. That's why your hair feels so amazing after you dye it because your roughened cuticles are all filled in and they're all smoothed out. But if you're removing color and not putting it back, then all you're left with is that roughened cuticle and some pretty brassy hair from where your hair had to be lifted in order to accommodate the hair dye. Now, if you are going gray and you decide that you're going to stop depositing color on your hair, then the dyed ends of your hair are going to turn brassy because you're no longer putting dye on them. So all products like this do are remove the hair dye. Yes, they remove it faster, but if you're not putting anything over it, you're gonna be left with straw-like brassy ends. So if you are gonna go the color remover route, just make sure that you put a toner over the brass. And the reason that I know this is because I used color oops twice when I was growing out my gray hair and my hair turned orange. I had more brassy tones in my hair than a middle school marching band.